Hey guys, Adre here. Today I want to share with you this really cool trick. Uh, it's a, an EQ move that I use a lot when I'm making my presets. And it doesn't matter which modeler you're using uh, because this thing works in pretty much any modeler. This is an EQ move that is used a lot by mixing engineers. And it's used mostly to get more room to the bass guitar in a mix. What I found out is when you're using this just on the guitar, when you're playing guitar, it makes everything much more clear. The honkiness of the guitar disappears and I find that it sounds really, really cool uh, to rock stuff and even metal. So if you can use a set of headphones or studio monitors or something that you can hear really clear because I'm not sure if you will be able to hear this on your smartphone. So without further ado, let's check out. Okay guys, here we are in the Logic session. I just recorded this little riff uh, and now I want to show you here in the Elix native. And again, you can use this in any modeler, but let's use it in the Elix. So what I did here was I just choose the placator dirty. I set the settings uh, the way I like it. I'm using one of my IRs and a little bit of uh, plate reverb. That's all. Uh, so let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> So it sounds really cool to me, but that's this honkiness that is normal. It depends of the IR, the cab seam, the, the real cab that you are using. But usually mixing engineers always cut around the 200 and 300 hertz. Not only because it, it makes room for the bass guitar. Me personally, I don't like this, uh, this honkiness that I'm about to show you right now. Let's turn on this thing here and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So now uh, this is a really drastic move because I want you to hear clearly what I'm talking about. So let's remove this, uh, remove not, let's attenuate a little bit like 4 dBs or so this frequency range and let's hear how it sounds. So hopefully you can hear that it's much more clear all this distortion that is happening here. And again, uh, this EQ move, you need to attenuate uh, the amount uh, to your taste. Uh, and again, this will depend on your taste, of the IR that you're using. Uh, so it's up to you. How can we make this within the, your modeler, within the Elix? So let's see. So let's turn off the EQ here. And I'm using the, here the parametric e EQ. You can use the simple EQ. I'll show you later, uh, but let, let's just use the parametric EQ here. So let's hear. So what I'm doing here is uh, at 284 hertz, I'm removing about 4 dBs. Now again, this EQ move, uh, it's up to you, it's up to, to the IR that you're using. And that's it. It's really simple. Let's hear again. So yeah, uh, now let me show you this on the HX Stomp in real time so you can see. So here we are in the HX Stomp uh, and again, what I'm, uh, what I'm using here, okay, Placator Dirty again. Uh, again, it's the same IR and the Plate Reverb and it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, the EQ, I'm using the simple EQ here uh, and I'm attenuating at 214 
14 hours, uh, minus 3.5 dB. So let's see the difference uh, without. <laughs> I hope you can uh, you can hear it. Um, it's a big difference. To, and to me, it's much more clear. Can understand everything much better. Uh, so uh, I hope you try this at home because uh, maybe you like it. Now let's add just a little bit of boost and a delay. <laughs> So, there you go. I hope you guys try this out at home uh, and see if you like it. And let me know in the comments if you like it or not. I find it very useful and I use it, I use it a lot in pretty much any modeler. Every time I'm mixing, uh, it's just the amount and the frequency that can differ. But I usually use this a lot uh, because I think everything sounds much more clear uh, when you're using distortion for rock tones, for metal tones, and it's up to you the amount of VQ that will be shaving off um, and the frequency, of course, uh, and it's up to your taste. So let me know in the comments and um, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.